Hello and welcome back to the end of another week. I guess it's actually the end of the first week of the new year and it's quite late here. So I think this one will be fairly quick. Um, but I'll start with upstairs because we, we are getting cleaned up. I'm almost afraid to walk into these rooms because we've spent, well, I've spent a lot of time cleaning them, but <coughs> um, this is what we were referring to as the toy room because it was the play space for the child who used to live here. Uh, so it's since been painted just a basic white. We haven't done anything with the ceiling, so you can see the difference there. Um, but we're calling it a day. This room is done. Um, we've started marking out, well, Francis has started marking out where he's putting tables, and this will become what we're referring to as our hobby space. So basically, all of the equipment that we need for our various hobbies will be going into this space. <clears throat> Backing up, we have Francis's office. Um, so again, this space, we, we painted the walls, we did not paint the ceiling, but it is basically done. We are planning on putting the door back between the rooms and he needs to finish the duct from the fireplace, but this room has been painted, the floors have been cleaned. Um, we need to remove the tape from the window and the air conditioning. We're actually gonna have like kind of a super air conditioning unit here, which does heating and cooling. Um, so that will happen after the wallpaper downstairs. And again, we do have a door which will go here that we still need to finish painting, but for the most part, this room is also done. Um, this mezzanine space <coughs> is also pretty much finished. Um, we are planning on putting um, some baseboards in, and we've decided to turn this space kind of basically into a library. Um, Francis and I have a lot of books, like actual books, um, that we want to put somewhere and we were thinking about potentially putting them, putting them in the attic But my concern is that we have a lot of mice in the attic So basically we were thinking about having some sort of like corner Bookcase type thing going on there with a little like club chair or something here so that this will be kind of our mezzanine reading nook um, it does, it's all open now. So, I mean, I think I've mentioned before that when we bought the house, there was basically a wall on top of this beam. So when you came up the stairs, there was, um, yeah, there was, there was like a wall kind of here and here. So this entire space was not open. We opened that up. Um, so at first this, this little tiny space would have been very claustrophobic. But now that it's actually opened up, it's quite nice and we don't see a reason why we shouldn't use it for something functional. So we're thinking about doing some sort of reading library there. Um, the toilet over here is still a work in progress. Um, it's not really high on the priority list, but it's happening. This is the door that goes into the attic. And for those who've seen like the original, it used to be just like a tiny little crawl door, but we had it recently opened up into a big door. So now it's a proper space. And also for those who have been paying attention before to our water heater issue, that still isn't completely resolved. Um, apparently sometime this week, the experts are supposed to be coming well the experts are doing a a video call to assess <clears throat> the the space um in cleaning up there i also had to go at starting to do the stairs so from here you can easily see where i stopped cleaning the stairs 
but I do plan on continuing to scrub the stairs and that's just kind of the first go. Um, we are starting to, in general, clean up the house. So that's, that's pretty exciting because that means we're very, very, very close. Um, this room still remains like basically the last room. Um, we're not gonna do anything with it anytime soon. Um, the cracked glass on the new fireplace, we haven't bothered replacing yet. My room is still a staging ground basically for the bed, um, which was supposed to go on our bedroom, but because of the flood um, hasn't been. I did order myself a, a big like, um, I guess like a hutch. So it has doors on the bottom and a drawer and then some shelves. And it's standalone, but it fits in the space really, really well. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on like Ikea hacks where people basically take pre-made furniture and then make them appear like they're built in. Um, so I might try to do something like that in that space. Bedroom, nothing's happening, so I'm not even gonna bother. Um, that bathroom's the same thing. This bathroom is under plastic because I've started um, my work on the beam. So I actually just put in, oh, I just put in the second coat and we picked the brown to match the brown in the window. Um, and I think we matched it pretty good. So, so yeah, this, this room is a work in progress. Um, I'm hoping to get the beam done by tomorrow maybe. And then we still have a lot of work on the ceiling in here. So I might leave the plastic up, but we'll kind of see what happens. And I know Francis is in the dining room but this is kind of our super special room. <laughs> so Francis's goal was to get the dining room done. And as you can see, we actually made it. Um, so yeah, this is the, the dining room. The, the wallpaper is up. It's a, it's like a jade green, I guess. Um, and it looks, it looks really, we're really, really, really happy with, with this color. We think it turned out really well. Um, the plants there are because tomorrow night, it's actually supposed to get down to like 23 degrees. Um, so I brought them in cause they're gonna freeze. Um, and in the kitchen, yeah, nothing much is happening. It's kind of the same old, same old. Um, we're just waiting for stuff to finish. Um, that panel needs to come in and we, we're still waiting for the doors. Uh, so yeah, things to come. Um, I mean, there's gonna be tons of little things. I'm gonna be working on the bathroom still. Uh, we're going to be getting the scaffold to put back up in this space because this room is going to be wallpapered in the middle of January. So that's kind of exciting. Um, I think we'll probably work on finishing the doors that need to go upstairs. And, and yeah, basically we have to completely clear out this space so that the person who's coming to do the wallpaper can actually uh, do his wallpaper. So that is it for this week. And I hope you all had a good new year and I will see you next week. Okay, Benji says bye.